Hi everyone. The Noble Horse At some point, we all become fine gentlemen. We express this not only with automatic watches and tailored suits, but also with a genuine Harley. It is no longer recognizable, the fat boy that once achieved immortal fame with the Terminator. The bad boy has become a smart man, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, who no longer goes out on the street without a tailored suit. That's why we think Golden Lord is a fitting name for the fat boy. If the name already reveals the concept, then we also reveal the details, all gold-colored parts are powder-coated in what we call Koch Gold. The surface is matte, so we're not flaunting bling-bling, but rather a subtle nuance. By the way, the same color tone can be found on our Glatza Mobile, which our photographer has already chosen for his club styler based on a low rider ST. So slowly we are all becoming fine gentlemen. The Golden Lord is also quite a big deal in technical terms. There's not much left of the historic fat boy with its bobbed 18 inch wheels. Instead, we've fitted our big speed wheels, 21 inches at the rear, 23 inches at the front. What you don't see, and this is intentional, is the front air ride, combined with an air ride in the rear, of course. The rear end is again the real centerpiece. The single side swing arm kit is, as the name suggests, a single sided swing arm that provides a view of the rear wheel from the right hand side. On the left, there's all the more going on, because the single side swing arm kit also includes our mighty perimeter brake disc with internal brake fist. On top, our sleek steel rear fender is enthroned with integrated turn signals and tail lights that are only visible when they are in action, i.e., glowing. The flip 2 handlebar is mounted on our old style riser kit. For this, we have converted the clutch to hydraulic. The line can be guided close to the handlebar, and there is a nice symmetry with the brake line on the other side. This is what clean looks like. Also the many small Koch Gold applications, for example on the pushrod tubes, or our torque clutch cover and our new custom ignition cover have to be mentioned. Of course we mounted our GP longbow spoiler again this time, even though we briefly considered whether it might not look too aggressive for a fine gentleman. Because the form fit to the front wheel is definitely more elegant, we finally did it. Of course, the noble gentleman is not a bike brother. That's why we gave it a silencer from Jekyll and Hyde. Noise is thus possible when it needs to be, but the cultivated appearance is also guaranteed at the push of a button. Speaking of sound, this is a 114 cubic inches fat boy with 1668 cubic centimeters of displacement. Enough to bring the necessary nonchalance to the road with confidence. Without screaming, we'll leave that to the youngsters. A Harley has a deep rumble, a bass sound. Schwarzenegger has that too, then as now.
Fashion Special The Motorcycle Shed 1985 Retro T-Shirt we have designed for real Thunderbike fans and that's of course also for ladies and kids. The print motif shows Andreas on his GSXR in front of the old store from 1987 to 1999. Thanks for watching.